Hello, my name is Matthew Jakob, and in this video, you're going to learn how to troubleshoot voice over IP issues using Versa platform. First of all, let's assume the scenario is that we have users who are sitting behind, let's say, voice over IP branch 12, and they have some problems reaching their voice over IP gate, and they have some voice issues. So we need to troubleshoot what is happening. First thing you would want to do is to go to that branch. Uh, in the branch, we can go to the MOS score and see what was the average MOS score on each of the links. So we can see that the average MOS score uh, over the LTE link was around 4, 4, 4.1, maybe 3.8. At the same time, the uh, average MOS score over the broadband network was uh, a little lower, so actually around 4 as well. But this is just the average data that shows uh, for all the active voice calls over the time in this graph. If you want to see more details, uh, specifically what was happening with a particular flow and what was the most score there, we can go to the SD-WAN uh, traffic steering logs. And in the traffic steering logs, we'll see information about particular flows. In this case, we have a flow from 180, 168, 112, 10 to the uh, 207, 47, 14, 36. And we have a couple of events. So this event was saying that uh, we came from the SLA violated link and we've switched over to the link with the priority one. So we came from the LT1 link between two branches to the broadband one. And the reason for this is because uh, the SLA violated link uh, had a MOS score of 3.3 and specifically that flow or that voice call had that MOS score and that's why it failed over. So we know that it happened exactly at 2.58.30 uh, p.m. And we can troubleshoot further to figure out was it a problem on the customer side or maybe on the underlay network. To troubleshoot next, first of all, we need to figure out what was the path that this flow was using before it failed over and between which branches the flow was happening. For this, we can go to the left and see the details specifically about this flow and what was happening with it. And here we can see that the local site was the branch 12 and the remote site was actually a voice over IP branch 11. That's from which branch to which branch this flow was going. And if we want to find out what was happening specifically between those branches at that period of time, we can go to the paths select our local branch and specify the remote branch toward which the problems was happening. And we can see that SLA matrix showed us the delay was almost all the time perfect, not more than a couple milliseconds. Let's check what was happening with the PDU loss. Were there any losses? So there were some losses of the PDU. But what if we will check what was happening with the actual traffic? Not the PDUs, but the voice call. Was there any loss in that particular call or not? We can go to the real uh, call statistics and nothing was happening. So forward and reverse direction, there was no losses. Next thing that we can check after we check the connectivity between two branches uh, is the statistics of the system. To check the statistics of the branch, particular branch that we're interested in, we can go to the systems, select the tenant that owns the branches because uh, voice or IP that we were looking before, it's a subtenant of the QA. And here we can go and check, for example, uh, our branch 12. And what was the load over the time uh, for this branch? What might have caused any problems? And we see there was a spike of the sessions and probably the number of sessions might have generated some issues on the system. But actually number 50, not gonna give it. So there might be different reasons for that. Additional thing, we can check also branch number 11, the receiving branch. Was there any problems in there or not? Again, the average CPU utilization, the average memory shows that there was no problems at all. 
in this case, we can make a conclusion that it was not a problem in the underlying networking. It was not a problem uh, in the uh, versus the one platform. Most probably, it was something on the way between the customer phone line and the SD WAN device. Uh, I hope this video was informative for you, and thank you for watching.